there is an advanced restart button in this particular ROM hence I am using volume up button and power button to boot into recovery once the POCO logo appear you can remove the finger on power button and continuously press the volume up button again you will receive a haptic feedback then you can remove the other finger too and this is the latest TWRP recovery way available for Surya and go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select Dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select install and select the micro SD card and wherever you downloaded the ROM zip files and firmware go there and first flash the firmware 12.5.5.0 this is the available firmware for POCO X3, Surya, Karna, whatever it is. Once that has been done, go to home section here and again select install and select the ROM zip file. In this video, I am going to show you Descendant Surya 12.1. Latest build this is for POCO X3. Let me get a little bit closer. As you can see with May security patch, latest update. You can see here May 5th build it is. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM. Wait until it gets flashed. As you can see the ROM zip file has been flashed successfully. Again go to home section here and select wipe and select format data and type here YES and press this tick button. Again go to home section and select reboot and select the system. This is the flashing method of this particular ROM. You can use the same recovery, same firmware and same zip file and follow the same method you will never face any problems in this video we are going to see everything regarding this particular ROM like gaming performance battery life charging test everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till the end of the video here we go it's booted into descendant OS and let's begin this video Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. Sampath, you're watching Sampath SanFX YouTube channel, and this is the Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. This is the Descendant OS Android version 12, May 5th, 2022. Latest security patch, and the kernel used here is 4.14.198. The kernel has been used here, you can see here, and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes and 11 seconds. You can see here the maximum score is 145 and average is 142 and minimum is 126 million GIPS. There is no CPU thermal throttling has been detected which is good thing. Let's say the dialer here. You get direct video call feature here and call recording is also available. You can see here call recording is also all, but it will remind the other person that you are recording the call. That's how it is. And coming to like um, anti to benchmark results, you can see here the 3,64,501 and temperature raise was just 1.1 degree Celsius and 3% of battery has been dropped during this testing. Very good scores. And uh, regarding the geek pen scores, let me show you. You can see here the single score is 509 and multi score is 1637, which is pretty good. And the kernel used here is Linux 4.14.198 LAUM 90.1. Around you can read here. This is the kernel, and this all the results you get in this particular ROM. And this is the quick settings panel. It's a little bit different compared to any other Android 12 ROM. They just adjusted the length of the quick settings panel and you can see here the brightness is also fine enough in this particular ROM and regarding wallpaper sound style you can see here you can change using this this is the Android 12.1 style and widgets let's go into widgets and select clock these Android 12 features are cleanly available here nothing wrong or nothing missing here that's fine enough and uh, let me show you this into home settings this is a pixel launcher as a pre-installed launcher here wallpaper and style you get print of wallpapers all the android 12 wallpapers and bloom and living universe are also given inside the rom and uh, regarding the drm status in this particular rom you get level one certification you can watch all the ODT application in hd resolution that's not the problem here and not just that the safety net status also will get passed Let's see. 
fortunately yes you can use all the payment applications like google pay paytm phone pay whatever you want to use you can use that even the whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that app suggestions now thanks that's how it is and quick settings panel i already shown and this other google chrome if you want you can use any other browsers also and into the settings these are the settings as you can see it's also smooth enough i'll make it even smoother let's see in the apps you can see here default apps you can change the apps from here that's present and game settings if you want you can enable the game dashboard and do not disturb for games special app access is given and into the battery battery usage you can see here it's fine enough very good battery life you can expect from this particular rom and battery saver is given extreme battery saver is also given you can schedule and you can reduce the frame rate and battery indicator battery styles you can see here battery percentage you can enable or disable from here optimization profiles are given battery indicator and turn on the light when charging those options are given into the sound and vibration you get plenty of options here me sound enhancer i mean the direct sound settings are also given from here you can choose the headphone type and preset and clear speaker option is also given and reorientation and touch vibration haptic feedback and some of the audio settings you can enable or disable from here into display adaptive brightness working fine and let me enable the dark theme it's not in pitch black condition this is the one thing they need to work on this they need to add something use pitch black theme like that and night light feature is available and colors keep it boosted a little bit better and refresh rate per app is also given you can choose the individual apps to maintain the refresh rate and monitor personalization it's given use custom color and custom color is given white luminance and chroma factor use linear lightness and accurate shades are given but there is an option of like pitch black condition as i said before also that they need to add show battery estimation that's their minimum refresh rate is given and the peak refresh rate is also given let me keep it to 120 now it will be even smoother i guess that's how it is and into the wallpaper and style i already shown these options are given the theme icons app grid are given into security you guys get face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me add face unlock i hope i haven't added let me add that let me show you the face unlock first as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock as you can see it's very very fast using this you can use the face unlock and there is a fingerprint scanner also let me show you as you can see it's also quick to use this in this particular rom descendant os these two are very very quick in my opinion do share your opinion in the comment section below is it faster or not accessibility menu is given it's an handy feature to have that you can definitely try it out just using this you can increase or decrease the volume brightness everything you can toggle them without using the volume buttons and even without sliding this that's an handy feature and security options as i said it was there no app lock here and location privacy settings those are working fine password and accounts and digital well being those things are given digital health option has been added and into the system into what's new i don't think so okay new features you can rehear improvements and bug fixes they have implemented here and into gestures into system navigation into settings you can you can't increase the gesture bar length it's not visible it's very small they need to work on that also the descendant os and downloading this rom is next to impossible like that it's very like you can't get easily downloaded this rom it takes time lot more time so that they need to improve that also that's one thing again these are the bugs and the features everything and let's see the bjmi gameplay how it handle in this particular ram and google camera there is a pressure let me come back first let me show you that this was i installed i guess let's see settings love more okay gcam mod snap com this was i installed there is one more gcam came with this particular rom okay there is no ultra wide angle option here let's see more settings into exposure and here 
modification settings okay auxiliary camera okay wide angle first turn this on then keep this wide angle and keep it id 3 okay that i spoken about this in previous rom some other rom i don't remember now we will get wide angle as you can see 0.66 now you can use this even in the video that's fine no need to install this arnobl gcam if you want you can use both simultaneously that's very good thing and regarding anx camera support that's also still missing and internet speeds are good everything is working fine no earpiece problem while making call those things are also fine enough and you get this kind of here gestures options some of the options you can see here even digital health these two apps are newly added it was there before also just i am telling it's how different from other custom roms that's how it is and let me show you the bgma gameplay and what all the graphic settings you get you can see here there is a real time fps count also it means you get smooth plus 90 fps by default as you can see no need to use any gfx tool or use any file transfer method you can directly get these options oh no i missed options let's go something like ruins it's also a hot spot and by the way if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like i will get motivated if you like the video to make similar kind of videos many people watch my video but not subscribing my channel i don't know and let's go here into the ruins you can see the real time fps count it's constantly now it's got dropped around 66 like that and volume is also fine enough nothing great like mere mint many people waiting for that i know i am also waiting personally and no players have been dropped here maybe look this is a bot you can see the real time fps count and uh, how it handle the game it's smooth the touch response is smooth enough there are no enemies i will come back and i will show you that tdm just check out the gameplay here you can see here again set to same graphic settings to smooth plus 90 fps let's see how it handles in this tdm the smooth response is available you can see here 90 fps will definitely make you playable but 60 is also fine enough in order to play classic matches continuously for 4-5 hours then it's fine and device is also not getting that much warm it's really good sign you can see the real time fps count there it's fine after a long time i am seeing this kind of fps for poco x in custom roms only few roms will offer that and see here okay i'll come back and i'll show you the charging animation and will it support 33 watt charger or not let's see You can see here directly it's showing charging rapidly that means this rom is supported 33 watt charger i hope I explained everything you can definitely try it out as a daily driver you can try it out this is very good rom even for gaming also i can recommend this 
but there are other roms people sticked already with like caro soyas and even the cherry soyas those are having little bit better compared to this one but you can try this one also those who had that fingerprint issues in cherry soyas they can look out this particular rom many people complaining about that in my channel also so hence this can help you and i hope I explained everything thank you for watching guys this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now